56, 53 right now. Let's take a look at some of the stories that we're following as you head out the door. We start this morning with Way 31, Sierra Phillips. This morning, some school bus riders in Limestone County are taking a different route after the district discovered a bridge on their original route couldn't hold the weight of a school bus. Officials say the school buses have been taking that route for years. Commissioners are working to find a fix for the bridge. Rodnia? In just about an hour, local businesses and community leaders will learn how to prevent human trafficking. The Huntsville Madison Chamber of Commerce is hosting the event. Human trafficking experts will talk to the businesses about their role in preventing human trafficking and how it plays into our economy, workplace, and productivity. The event starts at 8. Registration is now full. Marie. Huntsville police are trying to figure out what led to a shooting at Stone's Throw Condominiums late last night. That's out near Old Monrovia Road. We've learned the person who called 911 said they heard gunshots and then heard a man crying for help. We're told the victim was taken to the hospital. At one point during the initial search for the shooter, police brought in search dogs to help with their efforts. Pat? The National Weather Service confirmed another tornado in Lincoln County, Tennessee. It happened on December 16th. It was classified as an EF0. That brings the total number of tornadoes in North Alabama to a total of nine. There were no injuries, only some uprooted trees and minor damage to a home. Marie? Decatur City Council members could soon be penalized for missing monthly meetings. Yesterday, the council introduced a new ordinance that would take $200 out of the council member's paycheck for every meeting they miss after they miss three. The council will vote on the ordinance in about two weeks. It would not go into effect until November 2nd. Today, we expect to hear opening arguments from the Democratic House managers in the impeachment trial. By the way, coverage continues this morning. Or right about noon, uh, ABC News will pick it up at that time. We'll have coverage right here on Way 31. By the way, there will be, uh, they will be given 24 hours spread over three days to present their evidence against the president. And after that, we're going to hear from the president's defense team. They're expected to argue the charges against President Trump and the impeachment process as a whole is constitutionally invalid. That's what they're going to be argument, arguing and that it should be dismissed. We'll keep you updated on that. Carson?